channel welcome to stump hanger video today is going to be a short day because I found out I don't have any glue so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about my i beam project a little bit this is something I've never done I've never built a lost foam i beam wing but we're gonna give it a try and the first thing I did was that I molded the leading edge on the buck and the next thing that I did was I cut out all the blanks for the ribs now these are just rough cut you can see there's a line here all the way around it and you have to take these I'm just gonna do one or two of these on camera and you pin it to the plug Get a pin here Bob Hunt's lost foam system is probably the most accurate system I've ever run across. It yields a perfect wing. You put four pins in it. Like I say, I, I apologize for not having any glue, but tomorrow we'll get some glue and <clears throat> We'll do a little longer video. The next thing you do on this project is you take your sanding block. Hoping I have some better sandpaper than what's on here. Yeah, we'll just do it with that. And you just sand right down to the rib or to the foam. We're going to get all the parts made and this thing will go together relatively fast with all the parts made, snap together like a Lincoln log. One side done. Take your time, there's no no rush. Yeah, I build fast, but because I put in a lot of hours doing it. Right now the the weather is so bad we're we're not flying yet. I was hoping to to show how to install my hinges today, but like I say, with no glue, I'm kind of stuck. sand down to the uh, to the foam and that's a perfect a perfect rib the next thing I'm going to do is you'll notice here there's lines on the top and bottom where the spar goes. Well, I'm going to extrapolate that onto the wood. And this is the layout for the spar. I'll explain the spar too today. This is a little different type spar than I normally use. Yeah. 
This is a built-up spar. Two pieces of eighth inch, and uh, sandwiched between that eighth inch is fifteen thousandths carbon fiber. This carbon fiber sheet is sandwiched between the two pieces of eighth inch, weighted, and then cut to shape. Then it's then it's capped with 64 ply on the front, the back, the top, the bottom, and 30 second ply doublers in the center here. And then I've even got the inside of the bell crank hole finished off in 64 ply. It's super strong, plenty strong for what we need. And it's light, it's a little under two ounces. And for a spar that big, that's rather good. So now, we're going to measure how wide this spar hole has to be. Now first I'll draw a center line on this rib. Two and an eighth, so or one and uh, one and five eighths, so three quarter. There we go, and draw a center line. The reason for that is. This is where we're going to measure from, not from the top to the bottom. And the spar is 7 eighths of an inch. Thick there. Double check it. And then I need to find I need to see if my tool and, and I'll see if I can find it. I can find it because it'll be a miracle. I have a hinge sliding tool, not a hinge slider, a hinge pocket. Not quite tool. right. So what I can do is if the two pieces of tape where the first two hinges are. And what I want it to do is I want these fits to be about as exact as possible. Remember, this is the first I-beam I've ever built like this, full rib I-beam. Then we're going to cut the cut the notch out or cut the hole out for the spar. And then test fit it, make sure that it fits perfectly on there. He's a little jockey. So, let's see if I can find my woman's fingernail file. Ah, here we go. I commandeer the fingernail file.
My, my. Still doesn't fit right. Hmm. There's a lot of tinkering. Ah, there we go. And that's a good... And that's a good fit. And how that'll work is, I'll slide all the ribs onto the spar, slide the spar into the fuselage, I'll make a fixture to jig all this up. I got the big plate glass, piece of plate glass over there we're going to build it on. Get it all leveled up. And uh, make sure that everything's perfect. So, I just thought I'd check in. Uh, basically, that's uh, that's what's happened. I just don't have any glue for the evening. So, I'll see you tomorrow after I get some glue.